Hello and welcome to this Altruist YouTube video on the requirements for the new format NEBOSH NG2 Practical Assessment. If you haven't seen it already, click below to watch our video on the new open book format exam where we will run through the sample scenario, questions and answers. But in today's video, we are going to run through the requirements for the NEBOSH NG2 Practical Assessment. The NG2 Practical Assessment is designed to enable you to apply the knowledge you have learned as part of your NEBOSH General Certificate course. What better way to demonstrate your competency than carry out a risk assessment? After all, with the qualification usually comes additional health and safety responsibilities at work, where you will more than likely be asked to carry out a risk assessment as part of your job role. The NG2 Assessment is submitted by you to your NEBOSH learning partner, who then upload the assessment to NEBOSH for marking by an examiner. When you will submit your assessment is determined by your learning provider, so get in touch with them if you have any queries. There are four sections to the NG2 assessment. Description of the organisation and methodology used to carry out the risk assessment. The risk assessment itself. The three prioritised actions to be taken and how you will review and communicate the risk assessment and how you will check the actions have been completed. The risk assessment must be carried out in your workplace and be relevant to the activities there. NEBOSH advise you to take around three hours to complete the assessment, although this is only a guideline. Before you start your assessment, be sure to contact your NEBOSH tutor as they cannot comment on specifics of your assessment or pre-mark it before submission, so it's best to check you are heading in the right direction before you make a start. Section 1. Description of the organisation and methodology. The first thing you are going to do is set the scene for the NEBOSH examiner marking your assessment. They will want to know the name of the organisation, site location, how many workers are employed by the organisation, what the organisation does, their products, services, general activities and shift patterns, the area on which the risk assessment is based upon and any other information you think is relevant to give the examiner enough information to mark your assessment. You will need to outline how you carried out the risk assessment, including the sources of information you used, who you spoke to as part of the risk assessment process, and how the hazards and controls were identified. Again, as well as anything else relevant to the assessment. As part of section one, make sure you provide a good explanation of your work, activities, people and processes in this section. You are painting a mental picture for the examiner and the clearer this is, the better understanding and mental picture they have of your work to be able to mark the assessment. In addition, provide good detail on the methodology used, as this will show the examiner you understand clearly the process of undertaking a risk assessment. The recommended word count for each section can be found in NEBOSH's template risk assessment. NEBOSH recommend a total of approximately 400 words for section 1. Section 2. The risk assessment. It is imperative that you include certain information in your risk assessment to demonstrate your competency to your NEBOSH examiner. You must identify 10 different hazards from 5 different hazard categories in your risk assessment in order to pass. Using the NEBOSH risk assessment template will ensure the appropriate fields are available to you to complete with the relevant information. This includes fields for the hazard, who might be harmed by it, the control measures already in place, further actions to be taken, when they should be taken by, and who is responsible for ensuring the action is completed. When completing this section, make sure you provide enough detail on the who can be harmed and how. Do not just say people will receive injuries. Explain the type of injuries or ill health and how these will occur. Ensure you list a number of relevant control measures, both existing and further. Ensure you cover both physical and procedural controls. Don't forget to use your resources and books to help determine controls that are relevant to the hazard. As part of section 3 of the assessment, you will need to prioritise three actions from those identified. These actions should be those with the highest priority and you must justify, as part of your assessment, why you think they are the most urgent. You must include the moral, legal and financial argument and refer to UK specific legislation as part of that. Consider the likelihood and severity of harm from the three prioritised hazards. Are they the hazards that present most harm to the organisation? And how effective will each action be in terms of controlling the risk? Will it eliminate the hazard? Reduce the hazard? Will the risk be fully controlled? 
You will also need to justify the time scale for completion for each action. Can you justify a potentially life-threatening hazard to remain uncontrolled for a long period of time? And finally, section four, review, communicate and check. This is the final stage of the assessment where you will be required to set a review date for your risk assessment and say why you set it for when you did. Explain who need to know the findings of the risk assessment and how that information will be communicated and indicate how you will follow up on the actions identified as part of the risk assessment. On the Nibosh website, you will find both the marking criteria and a checklist for learners that you can use to make sure you have included the essential information required to pass the NG2 assessment. A link to the page can be found in the description box below. Nibosh have provided a useful worked example within their resources, which not only provides insight into the detail needed, but all the approximate word counts for each section. There you have it, the requirements of the Nibosh NG2 practical assessment. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Altruist YouTube channel for more videos on the new open book exam format and other health and safety topics. Thank you for watching.